Morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to Camera Confidence. We are going to be talking about how you can avoid as a business owner and someone who wants to create your own video content to get your business out there to discover new audiences online and to create a community around your business so that you can con um, convert over time, obviously, um, browsers into buyers and really get people on side and really getting them to understand, um, you know, what you do and why you do it and how you can help them. Um, obviously, making videos is there's a lot of moving parts to it. And there are lots of reasons why you may be having um, a hard time starting or if you've started, you may have a, a tricky time of it when it comes to continuing on uh, with your video creating journey. And hopefully these presentations um, will go some way to hopefully alleviate that, alleviate that feeling. Um, I want to leave you inspired. I want to give you some hints and tips, some insights into how you can start working on, in this case, your camera confidence to really start to br break down those barriers and so you can get on and create um, really, really effective video content for your business, ultimately so that you can help more people with what you do. Um, now, obviously, as always, um, you can scribble away throughout the presentation if you'd like to, no problem with that at all. Or if you'd rather actually just sit back, relax and listen to what I'm saying, obviously what I would like as well um, is you know, any questions, or whatever, as we go through, pop them in the comments. Um, even if you're watching this on catch up, put them in the comments because I do go back um, afterwards and check them out because I want to hear from you directly. What are the issues you're having? How can I help you um, onwards with your get on with your video creating journey so that ultimately you end up with the business that you want to and the lifestyle that you want as well? Um, show notes wise, ping me an email to info at mpsv.co.uk. Uh, let me know um, which uh, show notes you want. So in this case, put show notes request dash um, camera confidence. Uh, it, that will be absolutely fine. So I know which one to send you, which set of show notes to send you. Uh, I'm doing quite a few of these presentations at the moment as I ramp up for um, the next iteration of the Entrepreneur's Video Masterclass. Right, let's crack on with the content of this um, webinar. First of all, who is this for? Well, it's for business owners, coaches and consultants, people who may be finding a bit of an uphill slog at the moment to get traction online. I mean, we've just had the re release of threads, uh, which is effectively Facebook Meta's version of Twitter. Um, it's the fastest growing app ever, uh, even faster than ChatGPT. Uh, it's gone mad. Uh, lots of people are now thinking, oh, should I get on, th on threads? And I'm one of them. Um, yeah, it's yet another channel that you could use to reach your audience. Whether or not that's a good thing, uh, you know, it's right for you and your business. It's a bit early to tell. Um, I'm going to give it a go and I'll let you know. I'll report back what I find. Um, anyway, you know, there's an awful lot of information out there. There's an awful lot of contradictory information and advice out there. Um, and I want to try and filter that for you, um, try and make sense of it for you, and then give you, you know, based on my uh broadcast experience and knowledge of uh, deep knowledge of all things online marketing digital marketing give you a steer as to what you know potentially you could look at um and hopefully you know distill stuff that's much more practical for you given that we're all busy business owners we only have a certain amount of time um to crack on and do these things um but equally, I don't want to get you into that state where you're just your head spinning because you don't know which way to turn. Um, you may feel like you're missing out on opportunities because, as I say, all of these things are happening and it seems to be happening at a really breakneck speed right now. What with AI and everything else, uh, maybe you're just left there thinking, I just don't know what to do. Um, I'm feeling like I'm, I know there's opportunities out there, but I can't see the wood for the trees right now. Um, frankly, I'm just going to run away the other direction. I, mean, I totally understand that sentiment, by the way, if that's how you feel. Um, also, you know, you might be one of these people who really understand the potential that there is there, and certainly in terms of video and reaching a lot of people, scaling that connectivity um, and, the, and, and, and that building of relationships initially. Um, 
but you're being held back by a lack of confidence. Now, the lack of confidence, that's quite a broad question. And one of the things we're talking about today, one of the building blocks sometimes people say to me is, I don't know what to say, and that is causing me to have a lack of confidence. Also, clearly, lack of confidence could come from I'm not understanding the technology or a, or a fear of technology, in which case have a look at my previous webinar, which hopefully dispels some of the techno myths around making videos. Um, but however we, you know, however you slice it, confidence is a big thing. And it's something, it's an, kind of an elephant in the room. Um, you need to deal with what's in there as well as the technical stuff, as well as the theory, you know, the strategy, the marketing, um, the video marketing, the content marketing frameworks and foundations. All of this stuff needs to be done um, at the same time. Um, also, the other sort of um, bunch of people that this webinar is aimed at is anyone who's open to learning uh, new things. Um, you know, anyone who's open to new possibilities, new opportunities, you know, it, it's definitely something that you need to be um, looking to do. Um, so very briefly, this is how we're going to look. Uh, this is what we're going to be dealing with today. Power of video, why it matters to business owners and businesses. Why should you even bother? Um, we're going to have a look at camera confidence issues and the most common ones, just so that you feel, look, everyone's in the same boat. Um, you're not the only one feeling like this or who has felt like this. This is not a unique thing. Um, and I want that to maybe settle your nerves a bit. And um, hopefully start to overcome and start to rationalize those fears you may be having about getting yourself on camera or even starting to create your own video content with your voice whatever it is um then we're going to talk about practical steps one of the most important things about marketing generally but particularly video marketing is the audience we are here as business owners i believe to serve our customers and effectively our audience is an earlier iteration of our customers if that makes sense because our audience out of our audience will become our customers of the future okay so we need to serve them we need to demonstrate to those lovely lovely people um our values our how we can help them um what we bring to the table in terms of our products or services um and also demonstrating how, how what it might be like to work with us so the, so so our audience can imagine the kind of experience they may have and this is where video is peerless frankly um it's brilliant at doing that and demonstrating you know and illustrating what it might be like for someone to work with you because you're having you're starting that relationship you're having that kind your that that sort of interaction uh, over video and people can watch video in their own time and start to um, build that know, like, and trust, which is absolutely key. And I keep doing it virtually every certain webinar. Those are the three things that you need to be worried about uh, in terms of making sure people know you, like you, and trust you, because without those three things, they are not going to feel confident or happy to transact with you online. Um, it's a big thing, know, like, and trust. Um, we've got to discover as business owners what our audience actually wants to watch. And I'm going to share with you a ninja tip which actually delves into it's really simple technique that you can use straight after you've seen it. And I suggest you do do that because it will start to get you into the mindset of your audience. And that's what it's all about because fundamentally the business owners and business video creators who will win this will be the people that understand and empathize with their audience most. And especially now there are, you know, the competition online, I don't need to say this, but I will, is incredible and it's increasing and so on one hand that can make you feel as a business owner that it's all not worth it and let's give up and and go home sort of thing or it it the way i choose to deal with it is to say okay that means i need to be better i need to be more dialed in to my messaging i need to be really thinking and delivering value all the time insights helping people every single time i turn up online like this you know my mission is to help people like you okay and and uh, that's what i'm trying to uh, in, you know um say to people say to business owners fellow business owners is that that's what we need to do and we need to do it in a way that's authentic and is aligned with who we are and we've got to develop the confidence like today 
develop the confidence so that we feel okay in our own skin to do that, put ourselves out there online, because that's when people will find people online who resonate with us and they become our tribe. And then beautiful things happen later on down the line in terms of, you know, if they decide to buy stuff off you, you know, that's what we, that's that's where you want to get to. And it all starts with understanding what they, what your audience are typing in on Google. What problems are they saying they've got? What problems do we as the video creators and business owners need to help them with? Uh, you'll leave today with an engaging video creation roadmap. Not the most pithy title I've ever come up with, but basically a step-by-step -step guide as to what you can do next. It's all about action and, and you guys taking action off the back of this. Right, para video, why does it matter? Fundamentally, video has become normalized online. A few, you know, 10, 15 years ago, it was all very exciting. Bandwidth was starting to get bigger and you were starting to see technology, you know, I remember having specifically having a conversation with a friend of mine who at the time was an online uh, sort of entrepreneur. He had a property business online. It was going great guns. And I remember the moment I had a conversation with him because I come from a TV background. I was actually at Teddington Studios outside and I was having a phone call with him to, and, and he was saying, do you know what's going to be so exciting is as the bandwidth gets better, we'll be able to actually watch video online. Cut to 15 years later, here we are. And the bandwidth, and, and there has never been a better time to create your own video. We as business owners can become our own video, uh, a video. We can become our own TV channels. That's never, ever happened before. There's always been gatekeepers to prevent people, normal people like us, to access, you know, the ability to access global audiences if that's what we want to do. Fantastic, right? 91% um of businesses are now using video as a marketing tool according to hubspot that's, that's a, a a stat from this year uh so yeah everyone's doing it basically um the question is and that goes to my point about there being a lot of noise the question is how do you differentiate yourself and that frankly is about building your confidence so that you can show up authentically and that's what we as part of the Entrepreneur's Video Masterclass, the six-week course that I teach, we go into that and we and we equip business owners with that, all of the ability. We, we follow, a, we'll, I'll talk about it in a minute, but we, we follow a specific fa um, uh, system so that you can follow the, the, the framework to create really, really effective customer attracting videos. And part of that is building your confidence and understanding your why. Why do you do this? that is at the core of your kind of special secret source or whatever you want to call it that is your usp why you get up and why you do stuff and you've got to learn how to communicate that and, and uh anyway 71 percent. i'm sort of going off the uh, tangent a bit anyway 71 percent um, of b2b marketers use video marketing according to the content marketing institute where 66 percent this is going back to 2020 this is a couple of years ago um B to C marketers, uh, but effectively, well over half of whatever business you're in, whether it's direct to C or B to B, the majority of people are using video as a marketing tool. Okay, um, so video does equal a faster increase in revenue if you implement it well. Uh, Companies that were using video within their marketing strategy grew 49% faster than the companies that didn't use video within their marketing kind of uh, arsenal, okay? Um, consumers who watch a product are 85% more, more likely to make a purchase. Uh, it's a hugely powerful tool in terms of sales, video is. Um, ninety percent of consumers made a purchasing decision, according to Forbes, having watched a product video. Now, obviously, video is there are loads and loads of different ways you can implement it within your business, and that's part of the reason why we go into a lot of detail about the foundational elements of video and implementing it into a small business because there are video can do multiple different jobs, and it depends on when the 
you know the person your 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 potential customer where they're at in their customer journey if they just discovered who you are well then the video stuff that you show them then will be different to someone who's known you for months or weeks or whatever and is closer to that potential purchasing decision the video content you show someone there in the decision stage is what's called the, the decision stage of the, the funnel is different okay but the point is that you can use video in, in in a multitude of ways within a business to make things a, a bit more efficient um, and start building those relationships all throughout that process. Um, so ultimately, you, you convert in a better way. I know that sounds quite cold and commercial, but it's, it is genuinely a, a, about connecting with humans and helping them. And so they feel comfortable and happy to then hand over their hard-earned cash to invest in your product or service. Uh, in terms of email uh, marketing, which again is something I'm a massive proponent of, um, if you use video within your emails, uh, you get click-through rates um, increasing up to 300% according to HubSpot. Uh, why use video? Brand awareness, fantastic way of getting you and your business out there in front of lots of new people. Um, engagement, it's a really engaging format which is why platforms like Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, all of them, they they know because they're constantly researching because their aim is to keep people's eyeballs on their platforms for as long as possible. They know that video is the best way for them to do that. That's why they incentivize creators to create video content because that's why video posts get more engagement organically on platforms like LinkedIn, for example. OK, because the platforms know that it's very effective. Um, as we said before, it's a really, really powerful video. It's a very, very powerful communication tool. Very, very efficient. We're all time poor. You can say an awful lot very, very quickly in a 30 second video. For example, here's a little ninja tip for you. Use something called Loom, L-O-O-M dot com, a brilliant little tool that allows you to send video emails. And the best thing is you can start using this tool for free. Obviously, they try and incentivize you to upgrade and pay and stuff, but you can send video emails for free. They are super effective. They have larger open rates like we've just seen, um, but also it people will respond to a little video email much more likely to do so than they were if you just ping them a text or copy email um and, and i found that um because you can say a lot more people will get a lot more from a video there's a lot of non-verbal cues that happen in terms of when someone sees you on screen talking to them you know how, how they what the time the, the timbre of your voice how you are how you present yourself all of that stuff people are making micro judgments kind of subconsciously as to how they think you are do they trust you do you feel like you're passionate all of those good things it's a really really effective way of communicating um obviously customer experience as well video can be used to educate and inform as well as entertaining so you know you've got different ways of being able to effectively make people's lives better um, using video. Right, let's look at common camera confidence issues. 75% um, of people, these are the sort of top ones that I've managed to find all about camera It's not feeling happy on camera, not really wanting to put yourself in front of the camera. This is one I really, really empathize with because it was exactly, I was like this. Um, and then it's been a long, sort of period of adjustment a long journey for me personally um but the way i got over it in the end this is, was over a period of weeks and months was thinking actually i've got a set of experience and insights and um knowledge that i want to share with the world and i really want to empower business owners coaches and consultants to you know really go for this amazing moment of being at a big become your own tv channel and create effective video because i was seeing a lot of video that wasn't really that thought through and it was basically a missed opportunity so i was thinking hang on i can get myself in front of camera and start talking to these people and start giving them insights hints and tips as to how they can they can up their game however massive block for me was well i don't want to be on camera there's a reason that i've spent 26 years behind the camera in tv land and that's why, because I don't like being on camera. However, my desire to help is bigger 
than the little nagging doubts in my head. Do you see what I mean? And that is what's helped me overcome this particular issue. Now, I understand everyone's totally different. Everyone's journey to confidence is going to be different. That's just my little uh, story for you. So it is doable. It will take time. And you've got to be gentle with yourself as well. You don't be hard on yourself. Um, another one's a massive one, fear of judgment. I talk to so many people who, you know, um, one guy that springs to Matt, uh, springs to my mind is a guy called Matt, actually, who uh, runs a fantastically uh, successful um, events, marketing events, and also is a is an, a marketing agency owner. And we had a chat uh, not that long ago, and he was saying that he he procrastinated for years because again he he felt that people were going to judge him, and then he thought logically about it, and he thought, hang on, who's actually going to see this? Because obviously the video is targeted for his customers. It's not targeted to show his schoolmates, for example, because that was one of the things that was coming through for him was, and I get, I understand that, and same for me, was what are my workmates going to say when they see this? Well, do you know what? Hardly any of them ever see this. And even if they do, I've had about two examples where people have been a little bit odd about what I'm doing. And frankly, again, the way I overcome that is, well, that's their issue. It's nothing to do with me. It's it's caught up in some kind of psychology that, that is emanating from them. I still want to do what I want to do to help other people. And that mission for me is bigger than the fear of judgment. And that's the thing. I think you've always got to connect yourself back to your purpose. Why are you doing? Why do you want to create videos? What is the purpose of, of what you do? Okay. And then it's unlocking that and sharing that with the world. And I think when you do that, um, that's when you can overcome things that, that seem at the time maybe unsolvable when it comes to things like fear of judgment, camera shyness. You know, I'm not sure if you'd have told me two years ago that I'd be doing these every week, these webinars, I'm not sure I'd have believed you. And not only that, but feel, feel okay about it. Uh, but anyway, um, performance anxiety. 49%. So that's just not feeling, uh, this is what we're talking about today, actually, not knowing what you're going to say, fear of forgetting something or um, not not hitting the right notes in terms of, you know, I've got a bullet point of this, 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 and this, I need to make sure my presentation is good. But doing that without feeling, without it coming across as super wooden, and, and, and making it feel organic and conversational because ultimately again we come back to that whole thing we circle all the way back to all that sense of authenticity so here we are i don't know what to say on camera confidence um it is daunting i understand that because i am on the journey with you um and like i say it's as it's it is really is as much about what's going on in your head as it is about understanding the kit and and lighting and sound and all of that stuff um, you know, and the brilliant thing is you can use things like Google data to, to bolster your confidence. I know that sounds weird, but I'll show you a thing later, like I was saying, that will, once I knew that, and I could really start to tap into my audience and genuinely what they're typing in and the problems they are telling you they've got, suddenly, you know, you can, you can start creating content that's meeting those needs it's answering those specific questions and that makes you feel good because that when you start helping people people start telling you that they that you've helped them and that makes you feel good you and that makes you feel like you're on the right mission um so a third of people struggle with creating a compelling script for their videos okay all of this can come out of this will all be helped by the, the little techniques and tools that i'm going to share with you as we go through the fact is though and i want you to really keep a hold of this you can do it this is all doable this is not rocket science there's a lot to do and the skill i think is to follow a framework like i was saying and i'll show you share with you in a second my business video success framework which is what we work through on the entrepreneurs video masterclass the key is to not try and do everything at once be gentle with yourself not to give yourself too much to do don't overwhelm yourself but understand that each of these little steps make a huge leap okay but you can do it a little bit about me um 26 years now as a uk broadcast lighting cameraman producer and director of photography over 18 years as a business owner so i understand what the journey is like of being a business owner the ups and downs 
it is a right old roller coaster, isn't it? Um, a decade running a six figure photographic business, which started as a side hustle, ended as a six figure business. That was fun. Um, I'm a massive digital marketing nerd. I'm a qualified digital marketer. As I was saying earlier on about the story with my mate and having the phone call, always oh, going to be exciting when we can use video online. I could see this convergence happening between, you know, broadcast TV and the stuff that we were creating in TV studios and out and location and stuff. And the moment at which technology and, and the internet would allow everyone to become a video creator. And I just want to empower business owners, coaches and consultants to do that, to jump on this because it's an amazing way of being able to transform your business and find your tribe and build those communities around your businesses. Um, yeah, I work with Enterprise Nation, Federation of Small Businesses, Ipsy, Internet Business School and SBREC. So the point is I'm working with a lot of organizations that support business owners because I am a massive believer that it can be really lonely to plough this particular furrow as a, as a business owner. As I say, lots of ups and downs. It's not all Instagram posts on private jets and lounging over Ferraris, is it? There are moments where you do need that support. And, and that's why I work with these people, because I want to help as many people as I can with the uh, insights and experience and knowledge that I have from my 25 years in TV, plus all the experience I've gained uh, being a digital qualified digital marketer as well. Mixing all that up, I want to really inspire you guys to get out there and start creating your, your own content. Everyone has um, experiences and knowledge that, that they should be sharing. And there are also always, and there's always going to be an audience for you as well. That's the other thing, because a lot of people say, oh, you know, why would anyone listen to me? The point is someone wants to learn exactly what you've got in your head and that transfer of knowledge will potentially revolutionize their world. That is an incredible thing. It's just finding that those people and it's just making that bridge, making that link between you and them. And that's what video can do for you. I think that's terrifically exciting. Anyway, listen, where do we start? This it's all about frameworks. OK, um, systems, you've got to systematize things so that things happen without you wondering, hang on, what do I do now? Spinning around in circles with all this noise in the Internet. This is a structure that you can follow, a framework that you can follow. Uh, this is what we teach. This is the heart of what we teach on entrepreneurs, what I teach on the Entrepreneurs Video Masterclass. The foundations, the four pillars of effective video, the content, you know, research and writing. That's what we're talking about today. We're going into this little blue patch, uh, really understanding and digging into what do our audiences want to watch? What are they typing in? How can we make sure we're creating relevant, useful video for them? Obviously, then, you you know, the next bit is understanding how to present, film and edit and all the rest of it. So the practical elements of making video, we will cut that. We cover that all in this six week course. Um, and obviously, then you've got the consistency because it's all very well making one video. You've got to be making videos on a regular basis. How do you do that without overcoming your without, without overwhelming you and your diary and your schedules? We work out as part of the course. We it's really important that you end up with a sustainable um, workflow that works for you and your situation so that you can then just put it on a bit of autopilot, if that makes sense. So that's what it's all about. It's about systematizing the whole thing so that it, you don't need to necessarily do too much thinking about, should I, shouldn't I make video? Yes, is the answer to that, by the way. But we make it as easy as possible so that it becomes a habit. The more visible you are, the more people are going to want to eventually you show up in front of them, you help them, you demonstrate your value, you demonstrate what you can bring to the party. They will eventually get in touch with you and want to work with you over a period of time. And it's making sure that you're there long enough so that the relationship gets built. Um, the first step to engage in content is knowing and understanding your audience. Fundamentally, like I said before, video creators that, that understand and know and empathize with their audience the best will win this 
thing, even especially now where there's so much competition. There's so much, there's a massive competition for attention. Okay. That's what we're competing for with our people. It's, it's just asking them, can we, you know, can we have your attention for two minutes, three minutes, what, however long your video is? And we're competing with every other single thing they could be doing, Netflix, on their phone, talking to it, you know, being with their family, whatever it is, working, whatever. We have got to earn our audience's desire to, you know, invest their time with us. So we need to understand how we can help our audience, but we need to do that. To do that, we need to really drill down into things more than demographics, actually. It's about mindset, about motivations and headspace. So about understanding where we fit, how we can bring our skills, our products, our services to them that will, in a way that will help them, the audience, okay? This is what we're talking about today in more detail in a second. What searches are leading them to content like yours? You've got to understand that journey. Put yourself in their mind, go and do a search like them. Invest time in profiling the audience and genuinely, you know, like invest hours in doing it. Because once you've done it once, you don't need to keep doing it. Once you've got your, your set of customer avatars uh, and you really know and understand who it is you're serving as a business, unless you go and serve a new market, in which case you do need to, you know, modify and redo. But unless you do that, those, those avatars won't really change that much. Certainly, you know, the motivations are intrinsic, intrinsic motivations, the problems they've got, the problems they're trying to solve for themselves are going to remain fairly constant. Um, fundamentally, though, your audience needs to be front and centre of every single thing that you create in terms of marketing, whether it's written, blogs, video, podcasts, whatever. It's got to be, the audience has to be at the front and centre of that. Because if there's nothing in it for them, why would they choose to watch it, listen to it, read it? Okay? So you've really got to put them at the heart of everything you do. And like I say, anyway, the audience become your customers. So surely any decent business, it's all about your customer. It's about making sure you're helping and serving them to the best of your ability. Uh, this is a customer avatar sheet. Um, there's a lot of detail we need to go into. And this gives you a sense of the kind of stuff that you need to ask yourself. And, I'll get, and there'll be a slide in a second. Uh, so hang around. Don't, don't panic about this. OK, we go into demographics like age, education level, where they live, marital status, all of that stuff, what they will do as a job. But what I want you to draw your attention to is the fact that there are before and after states and their goals and values, challenges and pain points. That is the area in which we get deep into their their headspace and that's where we need to go to really understand what makes them tick and what how can we really develop products and services that will genuinely help them and meet their needs yeah and uh, we need to understand we need to unpeel that onion um obviously as well you've got things like you know information sources where are they online where are they? Who are the gurus that they follow? Where do they? What are the platforms they use? Or quite clearly, that has a direct kind of uh, effect on where we then show up online to help our people. It's about understanding all of this, and it's about putting it in one place. This is like a sort of filter through which you've put all of your outgoing communications. You know, is this is is what I'm thinking of? Is the I'm about to write is the video I'm about to create is it going to genuinely help this person yeah and what um, and address their issues that they've got and get them to where they want to go yeah um so as I say it's all about demographics but also let's go a little bit more into this before state so the before state is the current situation that they're in that is challenging them so that so and it can be before they even come into contact with your business. But it's they've got their they're where they are right now. They are frustrated. They or they are um, they they are in a situation that they ideally don't want to be in. That's probably a better way of putting it. Um, and they want to get out for for whatever reason. And it's about we need to understand and map out what it what is that situation and what are the what are the drivers that got them there but equally 
what are the what are the desires that are going to get them out of that situation um <clears throat> like here you know goals and aspirations what are they trying to achieve or solve what issue we need to really articulate that well um also think about the pain points and challenges what 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 are the frustrations of the clients right now how are they feeling tap into the emotional state that they're in okay because if we can speak to that we can then you know again develop um a, a dialogue and develop a build start to build a relationship on a deeper level than just a surface kind of you know we don't really know or understand how you feel but if we tap into the how you feel thing that takes it to a different level and it's much more effective when it comes to motivating people to help themselves you know uh, on on to their journey so they get to where they want to get to which is the after state this represents the transformation or desired outcome that potential clients have after using your products or services so what are the specific results the benefits to them or the solutions that 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 they want to get to or achieve by using your products or services what will success look like for them so it's not us as business owners saying you know this is what it you know you'll look this this is the this is what success looks from my point of view no everything has to be done from the point of view of the customer the potential customer the audience okay how is it going to feel when they resolve the issue they've got and they've achieved their goal what are they doing what's the motive what's the intrinsic motivation are they seeking happiness relief confidence sense of accomplishment dial into those emotions it's a that's a very these are powerful motivators um as i say you know we we're, we're very much still ensconced in the research and writing area right now with the business video success system um but as you can see there's a lot of moving parts there's a lot to think about um and it it is really really easy to feel overwhelmed uh and i totally understand that um you know maybe you've got you kind of don't know where you to start with it all maybe you have created video you are creating video but for some reason it's just not landing how you want it to or it's not delivering you the results that you were expecting or wanting um is there a sense in which you've got a little bit of fomo that you're feeling like you're being left behind as a business because you know we've seen 90 odd percent of people businesses are using video as a marketing tool are you in that nine percent that isn't and are you feeling a little bit terrified of that um or is it a case that you you know yeah you, you get it get the video is important but frankly you're so bl blimmin busy you don't have time to deal with it all the bandwidth or is it more like you know what we're talking about today it's a confidence thing you know, do you have an issue around the tech or is it a sense that you don't really know how to structure stuff where to understand where to dig into the customer you know data so that the hard data so that you can actually make in, in really really accurate and informed i should say decisions about the kind of content that you're going to create um well listen i've talked mentioned before about the entrepreneurs video masterclass it is a six-week course taught by me i got you through that framework from beginning to end over the six weeks um so that you're guided through the process of creating your own effective video content for your business um it's me that does it we do it live every week it's a small group training over six weeks um it looks like one and a half to two hours per week uh the sessions are recorded there is a little bit of homework it's one of those things that the more you put in the more you'll get out ultimately um and there's also four monthly this is after the six weeks the intensive six weeks we then go into a, a period where there's implementation calls for four months after that so that we're bedding in the, the habit forming we're making sure that you consistently create video content the aim out of the six weeks is that you you create at least one at least one if not more most people it depends where you're coming where you're starting from in terms of your video creating journey some people, you know, haven't filmed anything ever. So for them, 
you know, it's a case of, listen, in six weeks, we'll get you to create your first video. And then you know you can do it because everyone can do it. Let's guide you through that process. Other people may come to it in a slightly more advanced form and they may be creating their own content now. It's a case of looking at that, tweaking it and giving them steers as to how they can improve. And, you know, um, those kind of characters are the ones that tend to do two or three videos within that six week period. But wherever you're coming from it, at, because it's a small group format, you've got the time with me and we always I always make sure there's time to really understand people's individual situations and people's individual businesses so that you get a you leave the video the, you leave the uh master class after the six weeks with a with a tailored with a tailored workflow that works for your situation same when it comes to the whole equipment thing i'm not going to give you a massive list of stuff to go and buy what have you got how can we make it work OK, because ultimately you want to be creating videos and generating income first, doing that on a small basis, then you can invest more. OK, so it's not about me saying to you, you need to spend five grand on a load of kit. That is not the case. You do not need to do that um, over. It's over, well over 11 hours of coaching and bonus sessions uh, right now. We're in the launch week now, as I speak to you, um, there's an early bird offer of four, nine, five. Um, XVAT for the six week course and then the four monthly call, you know, calls after that. So you get an awful lot for £495. Uh, um, there's also a multi pay available as well, which means that you can secure your limited, there are only a limited number of spaces because I cap them because I want to make sure that everyone gets the attention and guidance that they need throughout the six weeks. So this isn't something that you'll find 200 other people doing. It's a small group. It's a small group because it's all about, I want the outcome to be incredible for you as a business owner, coach, consultant, okay? Uh, anyway, you can reserve your limited um, space um, for 249 pounds. One payment of that, and then we take another payment a month later. So you can get on board, for a really low um, investment right now. The next run starts this week. We're starting on the 14th of July, okay? Uh, there's still time to get involved and I would love you to get, get on board. If you are taking video seriously in your business and you want some help and guidance, I would love to talk to you. Schedule a chat with me. Um, I've opened up some of, of my diary. I'm quite busy, but my priority really is to help as many small business owners, coaches and consultants as I possibly can uh, in the time we have. Bitly, bit.ly forward slash chat with Jeremy, schedule a chat with me. Um, we'll map out how the Entrepreneur's Video Masterclass could work in your specific circumstance. Have a look at the Entrepreneur's Video Masterclass.com uh, landing page, the website. And feel free, if, if you are like, yep, tick, 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 and you're happy, absolutely reserve your place now. So don't let having a chat be a barrier to you jumping on board and making that investment in your future, in your in upskilling you in the vital, I would say that, wouldn't I, skills of creating effective video content for your business. Anyway, so that's how you can possibly take the next step in terms of, you know, um, really investing in your business and yourself and your skills when it comes to video. Um, so that is the video, uh, Entrepreneur's Video Masterclass. I'd love to help you however I can, okay? How about um, creating video that resonates then? So the first thing you need to do is to address your audience's needs. You need to offer solutions to the issues that they've got. You've also got to make sure that you're speaking in their language. Don't use jargon. Don't use insider industry language. Talk about the problems in the way that they would articulate them, okay? Because as business owners, we're very, very close to what we do, and that makes I hope that makes sense. So we might describe a problem in a certain way. Imagine you are in a Starbucks coffee shop. Other coffee shops are available, and you are a table away from your ideal client. Imagine that conversation that that client's having with their friend. How are they articulating the issues that they've got? Because they're probably talking about it in a different way to how you, business owner, would describe it. 
okay? We need to be communicating in the language of our customers and, and audience, okay? We need to always meet them where they are, okay? It's not about saying, you know, really lots of marketing jargon, 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 industry jargon, come over here, customers. No, we meet them where they are and we listen to their conversations and we try and see how we can help them in their own language, you know, um, and in, in terms that they understand and they can connect with. Um, ask, them, like, well, ask your your audience what they want. Conduct surveys. Brilliant. Massive insights you'll gather then. Offer them something in return, so like a lead magnet or maybe it's a consult or whatever, however it works for you. But don't ever guess what you think your customers want. Ask them. Do, do actual research. And this is what we're going to do in a second with my amazing uh, technique uh, for mining Google for information. Um, don't forget, every single video that we create is a chance to connect, engage, and inspire. And that is what we need to be doing every single turn. Never forget that. That's what it's for. We need to connect with people. It's about building those relationships. How do we discover what our audience wants? Well, we can use a little old thing called Google. Um, where we can see real search data, what actual people in real time are typing into the search engine and searching for your niche. So you get a really good handle on right now, what are the people wanting to know and how can I convert that information into really useful, relevant, valuable video content that I can then create and put out there into the world. Um, you can use, you can see what's ranking well, obviously, because it'll be page one. You go, well, obviously, if it's on page one, that's, by the way, where we all want to be. Don't bother going to page two, three, and four, because actually no one goes there. Page one of Google. Ask ourselves and look and model success that's on there. There are reasons why Google has ranked those whatever search returns there. So let's learn from them. Um, ask yourself, how can you do it better? Better means shorter or quicker because again we're all busy Put, putting more value or more information into a shorter time um, or it could also be better visual quality like in, increasing the production values of the um of the video um of the or you know in a case of a lot of the time you'll type in a search term and it'll be it will return um blog posts or articles or whatever Think about how you can make that better. How can you trim the fat out of that and make it into a one minute or two minute video that your audience will consume really quickly? Get some actionable things out of. You need to make people in a better position. So people arrive at your video, they watch your video for however long it is. And then when they've gone away from that video, they need to be in a better way, in a better place in some way or other. Okay, that's what you need to be doing. Um, Right, right, folks. So here we are. We're at Google. I'm going to imagine that I am an accountant, and I am going to type in how to complete. And this is where you see how rubbish I am typing. But never mind. I'm going to assist. Right. The first thing that should be said is obviously, as I'm typing things in, you are seeing that Google is auto completing. Now, YouTube. This is that this is all actually based on real data, based on actual searches that people are making. Okay, so how to complete a tax return, how to complete a tax return online. Now, if obviously I would be, it's not obvious, but if I'm an accountant, for example, in the UK, um, let me get more specific because obviously lots of countries have accountants where people need to do tax returns. So let's get a little bit more granular. Brilliant. Suddenly now I've got stuff that's, you know, more UK based. These will be the most um, typed in queries for that particular search term. So we've got here, how do I complete a tax return UK? How do I do a tax return UK online? Now, the first thing to say, and this is, very, very basic. I've not, there's no whiz bang software or anything. This is literally just using Google and just a slight reframe in terms of how we look and think when we are searching for things with our mindset now set to, um, you know, being a video business video creator. Okay. How to complete a tax return. All of these things here potentially, uh, yes, all of these could become um, subjects for videos. Now, bearing in mind, someone is typing this question in. So, in terms of what I've just been saying about, you know, understanding your audience's problems and pain points, or well, someone here is typing into a search engine, how do I complete a tax return UK? So as a business person, I'm thinking as an accountant in this instance, I'm thinking, right, well, that's the question they're asking. I'm going to answer it specifically and exactly and make sure that this search term here is in the title, how to complete a tax return UK. Let's actually go and have a look um, at what 
things get returned. Now, the first thing we can look at, the first thing is, which is exciting, is um, that we've got sponsored links here. Look, one sponsored, another one sponsored, one, two, three, and then the, the next one down there is gov.uk. Obviously, they are always going to be at the top pretty much because they are massive and they've got lots and lots of uh, authority uh, when it comes to Google. Um, the fact that the first few returns are sponsored, i.e. they're being paid. So these guys, QuickBooks, Tax Scouts, and Sage are all paying Google to target this particular search term. When we're looking for ideas of videos that our audience are searching for and that are ultimately going to end up in perhaps a situation where our audience are going to then convert and buy from us, we want to target search terms like this one, search phrases, that have commercial intent. Now, the fact that you've got people who are bidding they're paying money to be dished up by Google whenever anyone types this search term in. That indicates to us that obviously the people that are typing that in, more often than not, will probably end up buying some kind of software or service or whatever. Otherwise, why would QuickBooks, why would Tax Scouts and Sage bother advertising against this search term? So that is one of the things we need to look for, commercial intent. So then, um, as you can see here, I've got a few little plugins um, that are free. Uh, Uber Suggest is a fantastic one. Um, so if you just Google Uber Suggest, you can download. You need to um, have um, Chrome as your browser, and then you can uh, install the Uber Suggest, Suggest um, extension, which is fantastic. And we're getting some, it allows you to get uh, data, basically. Look at this. I've set this is for some reason set to the US. So imagine we are in the US for the sake of argument. Um, so you're getting a sense of how many, you know, estimated traffic for domain. Well, that was clearly really helpful. Um, let me try and uh, restart the video for you. But effectively, it's all about um, going through Google page one and looking at the various different elements of it um, and um, digging in and thinking about um, the different parts of the search returns that it's dishing up so for example we talked about commercial intent there um that is a really good indicator that actually the people who are you know uh, watching or or visiting or typing in that search term are likely to then eventually become customers otherwise why would those people um you know be bidding on that on that search term um the next thing to do is and i i apologize for, for whatever reason this uh this video has decided to stop working, which is obviously ideal. What I will do is I'll talk you through um, without coming out of this. Um, I can't do a, a demo, but anyway, I will talk you through when you go to Google uh, page one, you then need to scroll down the page and you'll see um, a section which is people also ask. Now there you'll find a treasure trove of other questions that people are asking. All of those things, all of those questions effectively can become titles or videos that you can create every single one of them yeah so then what you do is you go into those you, you there's a little arrow and you can you can click and um and then uh find um you click there's a little arrow and then it and it maximizes that little particular bit um go in there sometimes those are videos in this case they're videos so look at the videos Pay attention to the titles of the videos, okay? Go and see who's made the videos as well. Which channels are they from? Go and visit the channel. See what other content they're creating. See what's landing well on those channels. This is all about understanding your niche and um, and really sort of digging into um, the data behind it. So look at how many videos have they created? How old are the videos? Uh, which are the most successful videos? And note this stuff down maybe put it in a, an Excel spreadsheet or whatever so that you've got it all collated and you can see. Equally then, um, if it's a, uh, so with the videos, but also like I mentioned with blogs as well, have a look at the titles, pay attention to how they, um, how they're sort of formatted, how are the headlines generated, you know, get inspired by that. What are the subjects that the videos and the uh, blogs are talking about? Because ultimately we don't want to go any further than page one of Google because we want to, we want to be modeling the things that Google are ranking really, really highly. Okay. So we do that. We get inspired. We do not copy. We get inspired by. Okay. And we always think, how can we make it better? 
How can we make it better? How can I deliver this more, this information? Maybe there's some information missing that you can add. Maybe you can do stuff in a more condensed format, like we we're saying, because everyone's, you know, busy. So the same amount of information just quit, just more densely um, delivered. Uh, or is it not done in a particularly uh, aesthetically pleasing way, in which case you can, uh, you know, steam on in there and, and create something that looks much better. So that's the uh, people also ask thing, which is kind of halfway down the page. Then what you need to do is go down, go down and see. Sometimes on certain search um, terms, there are there's a video carousel, which are just lots of videos. Have a look at those videos again, like I was just saying. Look at the titles, who's cre who's creating them. Go to those channels. Have a little look. I would. As a, as a, without getting, you don't want to get into analysis paralysis, okay? You don't want to just be doing this for hours and hours and hours and hours. You want to get a flavor of what's going on, but you know, a decent flavor nonetheless. So I would say, look, just restrict yourself to sort of like five or 10 things to give yourself a real handle on the kind of titles that are landing well um, and the creators and how often are they creating stuff? Start to look at that as well. Um, you know, and then you go further down um, the page and you will find um, related search terms right at the bottom of the Google. Once you've done a Google search, right at the bottom of that page, they'll come to related searches. Again, that's a real, there's real rich pickings there for alternative ideas for, um, you know, other, other kind of forms of uh, search query. So related search queries, because what you want to be doing is creating, is, be, is becoming viewed as an expert by the likes of Google and YouTube in a certain area. What you want to avoid is talking about a really wide range of stuff because it'll it'll appear like you're being trying to be a jack of all trades and master of none. So initially, the, the, the thing should be stick to a relatively core niche, you know, your main area that you're going to help people with, and then build that out really comprehensively by doing things like this, okay? Um, and then making it might be, for example, that, you know, some of the titles are really, really um, similar, you know, and actually input, you, you will be talking about the same thing, but the titles are different, you know, like on the on the people also ask, for example, you know, um, that's not a problem. Just make another video. You can be talking about the same sort of thing. However, warning, don't just use the same physical video because Google will know that and YouTube knows that and they'll give you a black mark. So you can still be talking about the same topic area and the same techniques or whatever it is to help people, but just create another video, even if you're talking about the same thing under a different title, because anytime anyone types that particular title in, by the way, the title needs to be the search term that, that Google have dished up. This is a really, really powerful strategy, folks, for getting ranked um, and building authority quickly-ish with YouTube and Google. Um, and as a creator, if you've not started creating videos before, this is a really good way of doing it, you know, because once you become established and effectively we as video creators are building that trust with YouTube and with Google in terms of the quality of the of the you know, um, stuff that we're creating and, and and they will track obviously how many people watch it, how long they watch it for and all of that good stuff. And as we start to build out these really um, valuable and useful and answering specific questions type videos over a period of time, we will start to get those ranked on page one of Google, which is fantastic because ultimately that is where all of us businesses need to be. And then once you feel like you've, you know, you, you, you've got a volume of stuff up there, and I'm talking volume in terms of 20, 30 videos, all talking a around a certain area, then absolutely, after you've got that authority with Google and YouTube, then sure, start to talk about different um, different things at that point. But don't try and, um, and scattergun it right from the word go, because, you know, YouTube and Google won't know what you're trying to do. You need to keep it narrow first and build and, and concentrate on that and do that well. Um, right now, uh, let's skedaddle on. I'm just going to, um, uh, we're going to look quickly at some video structure tips as well. So definitely spend time 
on and, and we've not even left folks we've not even left page one of google yet that's all on page one of google all of that information so mind that and also do it for different search terms but again set yourself boundaries set parameters because you don't want to be trapped in analysis paralysis uh, you want to actually use that information and then go away and create genuinely go away and create the videos don't just constantly circle you know learn keep learning keep researching keep research don't get trapped in that one little bit of that the the um uh of the found you know the uh, business video success system the whole point is you need to move to the next one which is actually creating it uh which we'll deal with in another uh, we, we dealt with in other webinars right start with a strong hook grab your um <clears throat> viewers attention with a really compelling opening that makes them want to keep watching you've got to tell people straight away because again we're in the mindset of delivering value for our audience every single time tell them why they need to be watching what's in it for them what are they going to gain from watching this video okay keep videos short three to five minutes maximum if it's shorter than that that's fine um absolutely make sure that you've it's all about the value actionable practical value okay value 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 no fluff cut to the chase um keep it interesting make sure there's something in you know whether it's graphics now maybe this is something we do later on when we're a little more experienced as creators things like graphics animations or b-roll footage we can go into that at another point um make sure that you've got a decent uh sound and picture quality there are other webinars where i talk about that exact thing so um, what I'll do is in the uh, comments under this, I will leave links to my other webinars so you can check that out. You, over a period, have done a number of these webinars in a lot of detail. Hopefully you'll get start to get a picture of what you uh, need to be doing uh, on that score. Make sure you edit your video. Um, be relatable and human it's all about that authenticity thing use stories where you can um also make sure you're promoting video. tell people that you've created your videos um also interact with your viewers if people comment say thank you keep those conversations going because ultimately you go back to the whole beginning of this video is about fostering those relationships building those relationships it's not about creating a video popping it out there and forgetting about it it is making sure that we're constantly um you know engaging in conversation with our audience and our viewers and ultimately our customers too okay so that's number the section number two content research and writing element of it uh that's where we've been squarely sat in this presentation obviously there are other um areas that the other webinars talk about so definitely check those out um so when it comes to what you need to do next fundamentally you need to really get to know your audience that is a priority if you've not done it already um profile who you serve as a business create customer avatars spend time invest time in doing that think about the before and after states like we we're talking about earlier and then how you can get them out of their undesirable state to the state that they want to get to also think about the buyer beliefs now buyer beliefs again this is getting quite digital marketing e um but it's about what do people need to think um think or believe or they will um buy your product or service what do they what do they need to believe in themselves and to enable them to to make that jump to go yep okay fine you know it might be i believe that you're experienced and you can you can help me i believe that the product or service is good value for money i believe do you see what i mean so ask yourself those questions the depth to which we need to go when it comes to arm peeling that that onion of your customer persona we're going in deep folks you need to because ultimately the better we understand uh, um, our audience and our and our customers the better we'll be able to serve them and that and we will be the people that win as a result so search like your audience um look for commercial intent like we were saying just now look at the people also ask and create um, videos around the questions that people are actually typing in. Make those questions that you actually see Google dishing up, make those the titles, or include that exact form of words in your title. Um, look at the related search terms. Get inspired by the titles, like I was saying before. Um, look, There's a reason why Google is ranking things high, okay? So model that success. Model that success. Um, Right, so 
first thing profile and understand and empathize with your audience okay and then search like your audience too and then that will start to create the the sort of first stages of your video content plan um for more stuff like this follow me on linkedin uh, there's the link there video uh, jeremy mason video coach is uh, how, what i uh, appear as on linkedin um or connect with me on um for, for, you know obviously become a subscriber if you want on youtube or equally follow me on uh, facebook with your platform of choice interact with me there um i will be uh, all over that so that would be great um and keep up to date because i'm doing these trainings on a regular basis let me know as well in the comments below this you know what are the issues you're having how can i help you get to where you want to be jump on a video audit with me if you want to map out your route to video success and what video success will look like for you and your business bit.ly forward slash chat with jeremy okay so jump on that book a time directly in my diary and we can map out your specific video success journey okay um there are some resources for you uh cheat sheet bundle uh if you want to um get a bundle of information about how to start shooting on your phone um, lots of good stuff so that you can actually start act, acting on all this, which is really critical. Um, YouTube channel, one-to-one -one video that we talked about, and obviously the Entrepreneur's Video Masterclass. If you are interested in the Entrepreneur's Masterclass, and at the time of recording it is uh, July, um, this is the last time that will be at that price point with all the features and goodness that we were talking about earlier on. Um, so you know if if that is something that is uh, right on your to-do list right now i would suggest you you crack on and get involved um, if you possibly can because uh the next iteration will be different and at a slightly higher price point as well because there's more stuff being added all the time um as i say i'm on a mission to make sure that you guys get out there raise awareness of what you do and why you do it and uh you know, fundamentally share your experience and your and, uh, and your insights and knowledge with the world invest in support whatever you do invest in support don't do this on your own you can google to your blue in the face you'll just confuse yourself i think so invest in, if it's important to you for your business to succeed invest in your business invest in yourself okay show notes info at mpsv.co.uk ping me an, an email let me know um that it's the uh that it is the camera confidence one that you want uh, that would be great and i want to leave you with this um this is my favorite business video fact it is all figure all outable you just need guidance and support and if you want guidance to support you know i will do whatever i can with the experience that i've brought, built up over the 26 years i've been doing it um to guide you through to a better place to a place where you're reaching the people that you need to reach and helping and inspiring them in turn with what you do and your products and services. Thank you so much for joining me. I know I'm slightly over time. No surprise there. Have an amazing day, whatever you're doing. Definitely let me know in the comments um, issues you're having. Um, jump on the one-to-one -one video audits if you want to map out um, what video success will look for you i really really look forward to helping you all on your video creating journeys however i can take care have an amazing day cheers bye bye